Boy, 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 when I heard about this story yesterday, I could not wait to talk about it today. Because for anybody that wants to talk about grandstanding, taking photo ops, causing a whole bunch of commotion to do a whole lot of nothing, this right here takes the cake, right? This takes the cake, okay? As Texas Democrats, Texas lawmakers, and the legislator have fleed the state in private jets, okay? Private jets to go to Washington, D.C. in order to prevent Texas from passing their new election integrity laws. Now, this is a continuation of what we've seen uh, throughout the country in which, you know, these GOP legislators, they're, they're passing new election integrity bills and the Democrats are just losing their minds, right? Saying that it is suppressing the black vote, right? It's trying to keep black people from voting, right? And so-called minorities from voting. However, they can never cite exactly how is these laws oppressing people from voting. And they're also losing the battles at the Supreme Court level, okay? So they really don't have any other choice now but to essentially grandstand and to try to <laughs> obstruct as much as they can, even though it's really pointless, right? And the hypocrisy of this move, it's just mind-blowing, man. It really is. And it's crazy because they're actually at risk of being arrested for doing this. And we're going to talk more about that later uh as the texas governor is going to weigh in on this but first let's read a little bit more about the background of what's going on so I, I want you guys to understand exactly what's happening here texas democratic lawmakers fled the state uh for washington dc monday in order to block republican backed election reform bills for a second time setting up a standoff with republican governor greg abbott and risking arrest by leaving during a special session close to 60 of the texas house of representatives 67 democrats departed Austin on two charter flights to the nation's capital, where they vowed to press the Biden administration and congressional lawmakers to pass federal voting rights legislation. KXAS reporter Scott Gordon tweeted an image of barefaced lawmakers on one of the planes and apparently defying uh, federal rules about wearing masks while traveling. The mass exodus would deny the Texas House a quorum when it gathers on Tuesday. Quote, Today, Texas uh, House Democrats stand united in our decision to break quorum and refuse to let the Republican le le legislator force through dangerous legislation that will trample on Texas freedom to vote. Read a statement signed by Texas House Democrat Caucus Chair uh, Chris Turner and four other lawmakers. So, guys, um, notice how they don't cite exactly what provisions are going to keep people from voting, right? They never do. This is why I try to say it's a conspiracy at this point, guys. It's 100% a conspiracy. It's a rallying cry for the democrat party that's what it is it's nothing more nothing less this is the big lie from the democrats so to speak now guys look at this picture look at these look at these people they're, they're on a jet okay they're, they're on a jet not wearing masks breaking the law right rules for thee not for me typical democrats to protest a texas voting law okay that, that, that's what they're doing so let's read a little bit more here. Quote, we're now taking a fight to our nation's capital. We are living on borrowed time in Texas. We need Congress to act <laughs> to pass the For the People Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act to protect Texas and all Americans from the Trump Republicans' nationwide war on democracy. Okay, I'm going to talk more about that later. But first, let's listen to Texas Governor Greg Abbott's response to these Texas Democrats walking out as he basically promises to have them arrested once they return take a look but laura i have to point this out the thesis that they are operating under is completely false because what the texas law does doesn't hinder anybody's ability to vote in fact uh, interestingly what texas is seeking to do is to add additional hours to vote texas has 12 days of early voting and the hours of which will be expanded and we will ensure that hours are expanded on election day also so their entire thesis is completely wrong and compare early voting in Texas with early voting that we have in Delaware. Texas has 12 days of early voting. Delaware has zero days of early voting. Why am I picking on Delaware? Because that is where the president himself voted in the last election. And if anybody wants to talk about voter suppression, they should be mm -hmm. talking about Delaware, not Texas. Yeah. Well, uh, one Texas uh, state congresswoman 
is going to demand um, something of Biden and the Democrats do what, that what they should do when she actually gets face to face with them here in D.C. Watch. For me, it's going to be more so of an ask for him to push as hard as he can. This filibuster has to we have to do away with it because once again, it's Republicans being allowed to be obstructionist. Governor, they fled Texas to mommy and daddy in D.C., and the Republicans are obstructionist. Please explain that for our viewers tonight. One word, hypocrisy. They're using a filibuster to flee the state of Texas to plead with the president to do away with the filibuster in Washington, D.C. That is the example of hypocrisy on its face. And that's one reason why they're losing the arguments with regard to voting on this issue and other issues in the state of Texas. But I want to point this out for your viewers who are watching from Texas, because by the Democrats fleeing, they're also fleeing what we're trying to achieve by cutting your property taxes, by making sure that we secure the border, uh, by funding very important projects such as law enforcement in communities that have high crime. And so by fleeing the state of Texas, they're doing more than just appealing to the president. They're using taxpayer money on this political junket to Washington, D.C. to prevent us from passing laws that will make our communities better. I have better. a question, Governor. Do you know or does anyone know who paid for the private plane and the luxury bus? Was it all on the up and up? Was it Beto wrote the check? I mean, it's not cheap, right? It's, it, this is not cheap uh, for the travel. Uh, so get this. So they're getting paid. They're going to get food, all that kind of stuff while they're there. But they're still getting taxpayer-based money. And their staffs are still getting taxpayer-based money. Uh, and so they're still living off of the, the government dime, uh, even while they're on this trip. All the while, they are doing fundraising projects online trying to raise money for this. And so it really is both hypocritical, it's despicable, but it's really the, the worst thing you could say about a Texan. And that is they are so afraid they're running away from a fight that they were hired so by their voters to do. They were hired by their yeah. voters to go to the Capitol and articulate what their opinion was. There's no, there's no, we're, we're complaining about Democrats running to the courts, but is there any Texas state Supreme Court move here, or is that just a political question that wouldn't be considered? Well, there, there's no law on the issue. What the law is, uh, it's in the Constitution, uh, and that is the House, uh, uh, the state House of Representatives uh, who are here in the Capitol in Austin right now. They do have the ability to issue a call to have their fellow members who are not showing up to be arrested, but only so long as that arrest is made in the state of Texas. That's Aww. why they have fled the state. Once they step back into the state of Texas, they will be arrested and brought to the Texas Capitol, and we will be conducting business. Okay. I'm looking forward to that, Governor. Hey, thank you for being with us. All right, guys. So <laughs> I just want to show you this picture real quick. This is, this is what your taxpayer dollars are paying for in Texas, right? If you're a Texan taxpayer, this is what you're paying for. These are some lawmakers that were on a bus, right? They're, they're on a bus and they got a Miller light, a case of beer, right? Traveling on a bus with a case of beer to Washington to encourage the Biden administration to pass federal legislation that is not possible to pass. The Democrats don't have the votes to do it in the Senate. So how is this nothing more than a photo op? How is this nothing more than grandstanding? How is this nothing more than putting on the show? Because you're not going to accomplish anything. You do not have the votes at the federal level to pass that legislation. So what are you doing? Because it can't save you. Biden can't save you. Also on top of that, it's going to pass anyways in Texas because the governor can keep just issuing special sessions that last 30 days until they vote, right? So he can force them to vote. He, they literally, under Texas law, <laughs> when they get back to the state, can be arrested and forced to go to the chamber to vote and locked in until they actually vote. So what are they really getting out of this? You're not getting anything out of it. They're wasting taxpayer dollars to do nothing, to protest. And the irony, the hypocrisy is incredible. It's off the charts. These are the same people that want to complain about the Republicans. Oh, all they do is obstruct. They're just obstructionists. We need to get rid of the filibuster. So you have a Texas lawmaker 
using the filibuster, right? Instructing in her own state to go to Washington to encourage the federal government to not let Republicans obstruct at the federal level to get rid of the filibuster there, but you're more than willing to use it in your own state. Again, this reminds me again how the Democrats are complaining about the filibuster now that they have a little bit of power, but when the Republicans have power, they use the filibuster all day long. They try to filibuster as much as they could. Again, this this show the Democrats don't stand on any principles whatsoever. It's all about what they want. They don't care about the principles. They they talk about all oh, filibusters races. Is it racist now that you guys are using it in Texas to obstruct? Not only are you obstructing this election integrity bill, you're also obstructing other legislation, such as funding for law enforcement and extra police for areas of high crime. Is that not racist? <laughs> right? Like I said, th this story right here is outrageous. It, it, it really is. It's, it's, I, <laughs> the irony is just off the charts, man. It really is. And I honestly, I hope that Governor Grant Abbott has them arrested. And I hope he gets pictures of it. I hope once they get back on Texas soil, they are arrested and brought to the Capitol to vote. Now, I actually don't know if the governor has that power. I actually do believe that it's up to um, the House, right? The Texas House uh, legislator to actually have them arrested if they fail to show up. Okay? I, I think it's actually up to them. But regardless... I hope it happens, right? I hope it happens. Now, to be clear, I, I don't want them thrown in jail, okay? They shouldn't go to jail for it. But um, according to the rules, from my understanding, is that they could have them arrested and they could be forced to go to the Capitol to vote, right? And they can, you know, be forced to stay inside of the Capitol until they actually vote. That's why I want to happen. I don't want to jail political opponents. I, I just want them to vote, basically to do their jobs. Because whether or not you agree with the legislation, your job is to vote. Your job is to show up, right? If you was working for a private company, you can't just walk off the job and get paid because you don't agree with something that the company did. No, that's not how it works. If you walk off the job, you will get fired. You will not be paid. The same should apply when it comes to having a government job. If you walk off the job, if you refuse to do your job, then you shouldn't be paid. You shouldn't be paid. And it's just a damn shame that taxpayers have to pay for this stuff. They have to fund this clown show from the Democrat Party in Texas. Because that's all it is. This will accomplish nothing. It's a big show. to try to say, oh, the voting laws are racist. They can't cite any laws or provisions that actually keep anybody from voting. Matter of fact, Governor Greg Abbott in that clip I showed you guys literally is like, listen, we got early voting. Delaware doesn't. All these Democrat states have voter ID laws. Some of them are more strict than those in the red states. But for whatever reason, red states, Republican states, they don't have the right. They don't get the right to enact voter ID laws, right, or to control their own state elections but democrat states they don't complain about that they have nothing to say about the strict voting laws in democrat states is that not suppressing the minority vote guys they didn't even restrict sunday voting right um that's the big thing that the, the democrats try to accuse the gop of doing to suppress the black vote right because of so-called souls to the polls right out the church you know black people go and vote right that's like a, a thing apparently i didn't know it was a thing but apparently that's a thing and the Texas GOP bill didn't even restrict that. The Georgia bill didn't restrict that. Most of these bills are focused on trying to rein in some of the stuff that was allowed last year because of COVID. That's what they're trying to rein in. That's what most of it is. See, this is what I try to tell you guys. The, the, the Democrats don't stand any principles. It's literally about what they want and what they want only. And that's it. That's it. That's all this is about. This is a show. This is a show, and the fact that the Biden administration is even entertaining this shows you that he don't stand on anything. Because if I'm the president, I'm like, man, man get y'all ass back there and go vote. You, you ain't doing nothing. Because what they're essentially doing is they're putting the pressure on the Biden administration at this point. They're saying, we need the federal government to save us. You need to pass this Voting Rights Act or the For the People Act. 
That's what they're saying. You're putting the ball in Biden's court. You're saying it's up to Biden to save you. And if I'm Biden, I'm like, nah, bro, get, get out of here. Because you Biden knows he they can't pass that. So, like I said, man, I this right here, it, it blows my mind. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.